So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from the good old Chiang Mai city. As always, back in Chiang Mai. This is one of the first vlogs I've done since I came back from Lampang. Today, I thought we'd have a little chat again. Have a chat about a good question I got in one of my past videos. So we're down at the Meika Canal and a lot's changed down here, man. Look at this new place. This has been done up a lot. I might go in there for a green tea after. So yeah, the novelty down here has worn off a little bit over the months from when it first opened, but still, still a nice place, isn't it? So I had a comment on one of my videos saying, why don't I have a girlfriend or a partner? Yeah, it's down to money. So end of the vlog. Hope you're all safe and sound as always, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> no, let's carry on. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, money, money is a big factor in having a partner in Thailand, of course it is. The longer I've been here, the more the cultural differences from back home has become more, you know, more relevant. When you first come here, you don't, you can get women here easy, it's no problem to get a woman, right? But the longer you've been here, when you're thinking about a partner, you sort of... You know, you're so used to your culture and how things work back home and it's, it's totally different here. Nobody's wrong or right, it's just different sides of the world and different ways of being together with somebody, right? One thing I probably do miss is, from back home is the, is the connection, the culture connection with a lady, with a woman. I mean, back home, you got the same mindset, you you work together in a relationship, you work together sort of 50-50, right? That's, that's how a relationship works back home. And it's a little bit different in Thailand. Um, you do need money here. It's not all about money, but in some sort of way, you have to support here. And I don't think I've ever been, I've not found a Thai lady that I like yet that I'm willing to do that, you know? Because back home, you would work together and that's how a relationship works. Here, the ladies obviously expect you to support in some way. All different types of support. Some some people want you to support the family here, or but you're gonna have to do something, man. There's gonna be something where you're gonna need money. Yeah, I've not met anybody that I'm prepared to do that with yet and of course I'm not a rich man I'm not prepared to just chuck my money at something if it's not serious it have to be serious right you have to be you have to really like somebody and be prepared to take care of them lots of relationships in Thailand lots of my friends relationships and lots of youtuber people that i follow in in great relationships this is nothing to do with one's better one's bad one culture's better one it's just how it is my culture is you find a lady you work work together you're 50 50 and that's how a relationship works i would say here no it's it's definitely not 50 50 is it i wouldn't say okay some some of you probably will say in the comments, me and my partner is 50-50, but, but generally it's, come on, the guy, you're gonna have to take care, <laughs> ain't you? And that's not an easy feat, is it? You need, you're gonna have to really feel or be in love with some lady to, to do that, really. It's easy to have short time here or just find short time girlfriends. I've had short time girlfriends here or girls where I'm just casually dating. But for, for that long game, yeah, you need to think, you need your money in order. Am I ruling out getting with a Thai lady full time, long term? Of course I'm not. I'm, I've been here a long time now and I'm planning to be here for even longer. So in the future, of course, I would still like to find a, find a Thai lady that I really like. But it would have to be, it would have to meet Hello. both. Hello, how are you? How many fish you get? 
Ah, oh, zero. <laughs> These guys fishing lit. Yeah, ah, sometimes I fish. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Ah, no fish today. You not find any? Thank you. Ah, see you again. Goodbye. Hope you find some fish, okay? <laughs> he was ready to, for me to jog on. He'd had enough of me already. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Where was I? I forgot. I'm waffling on. The cultural differences. I never thought about that before until time goes by. That's, I do miss that, like I said at the beginning. I do miss probably how a Western girl thinks when you're out on a date or something it's, it's so easy when you're from the same place in it and you know it's, it's more difficult here and on the apps as well when a when a Thai lady in the app in the first question ask you what is your job and at first that used to that used to grind my gears you know I never liked that question and I always thought it was rude when it's not here it's culture here the lady just wants to know if you can support them but back in England, that, that would probably be rude and you would you would never say that when you first met really. What What is your job? You know, it, it would come up in a conversation, but the way it comes up here is, is not just a general question, if you know what I mean. They are actually wanting to know sort of what, what your job is and what you earn. You know, when you can say something and it means totally different. Hello, Swadi Cap. Are oh, you doing a good job? Good job. Yeah. Very nice, beautiful. Oh, nah. He's got to do all these as well. Good on him, man. Good on him. Am I looking for a Thai partner? I'd know. But it would be nice to when you know you're going to stay here long term. I mean, if I was planning to retire here, which I might be, of course you would want a lady with you, right? You, I mean... It's okay being a Jack the Lad, but even into your 60s and 70s, I don't know. If you lived here and you and you got a proper place and you proper settled here, you would want maybe a lady with you and you don't want to be changing all the time. I mean, will I still be able to get it up <laughs> in 10 or 20 years time? You never know, do you? And it's great having options here and you can get different ladies whenever you want but I think settling down here you would want a nice lady one that you would live with and sort of make some sort of life with in the midday sun crazy man I'm the only one what's that guy in the comments say um, English men in sleeping dogs or something the saying where English men are crazy yeah I'm probably one of the only ones out in the midday burning sun when things are different in a relationship it sort of puts you off you can go out on a date with a girl and you're thinking to yourself oh man you know it's that's to that's totally not how how it works where i'm from and of course you have to um adapt where you are because we're here it's not like they have to adapt really it's either you you adapt or go home and find find a partner in it so you have to adapt in a way but at the same time if you can't then you just carry on living the high life man playing the um jack the lad <laughs> i suppose i'm setting my ways of being an english man as well it's um you know you're stubborn it's like that's not how we do it and sort of I'm probably like that as well, where you do it my way <laughs> or the highway and but that's where you're from, right? That's what you know and you plan to meet somebody and you think, ah, you know, it's just, it's not a date. You're just meeting as a friend and, you know, she don't think twice when she walks up and leaves. She'll order anything off the menu and expect, she's already expecting you to pay. And if you said like, oh no, <laughs> they're like, ah. Huh? It's only coffee and a 300 baht meal. A Thai lady probably wouldn't think twice about that. Of course, there's some ladies that would ask, but it's in their culture where 
they would just meet you, order some food, order a coffee, order a 200 bat shake, and have no thoughts about paying for it. They just think he's paying for it. <laughs> what I miss is, like I said, that that joint that joint thing. I wish I could find like a lady here where she's like, I'll buy dinner tonight, or you pay for that, I'll pay for that and yeah that's that's what a relationship is for me or being with somebody again i know it's different here even 70 30 you know so it's something i mean the girl i was dating here just nothing you know just assumed everything was on you sort of setting up for later setting up yeah oh, i'm sweating now hello how are you <laughs> She can't speak English, she was shaking her head. Ah! Right, let's walk down and get out of here now. Yeah, I've been waffling on, haven't I? Been waffling. The reason I haven't got a girlfriend, I'm not prepared to just spend money willy nilly on somebody that I'm not totally 100% on. Yeah, the difference is getting away. Um, is it great just having dates and then, and then going home or? doing your own thing of course you can do that here forever if you wanted to i'm not saying i even want a long-term relationship it would have to happen naturally right guys i'm probably going to leave it there um yeah loads of you are going to say you're in a happy relationship i think some friends come here as well angry with time you understand the culture and you know it's not the same as where you're from. Because yeah, I've had, when I first come here, you think, hey, that's not how you do it. That's not life, but it is for them, man. We're, we're in their country and that's that's how it is. Hello, sweaty Hello. cab. That's how it is, man. You're not home anymore. This this is the deal. This is This is what you're signing up for. So I've probably missed some stuff I wanted to talk about. Thai women are great. But of course, you have to be open to the culture differences. And be prepared. Be prepared for, be prepared for it. You gotta dip your hand in your pocket. And you gotta look after a nice a nice diamond on your arm you know if you got a nice lady she can there's somebody that will be able to give her a nice life that's the problem as well with the, a beautiful lady somebody else will will take care of her you know yeah so i think i'm gonna leave it there guys Will I have a proper long-term Thai relationship in the future? Maybe, hopefully, if I if I end up um, putting my roots here full time, of course. But you you have to find the one you connect with. If not, it's all good, man. I'm happy casual dating and until that happens. So yep, yeah, I'm gonna get back, guys. Hope you're all safe and sound as always. I thought it was, was a cool little vlog so i had a cool comment that i'd wrote down from back along so yeah it's a cool cool vlog hope you're all safe and sound as always and i will see you in the next one so take it easy man take it easy